All right, today's video. Today's video is about doing the video. 18th, 19th day, I don't care. I have just, just to do it. Uh, I'm a bit late to the group theater, uh, but I have to do the video, shit. Uh, I'll be fine. Next week, I should be on time. And um, God damn it. We should figure out something with my work and my theater, my acting and everything around it. And on the 4th of March, there's a memorial for Hedy Sontag at school. David and, and basically Paul put it up together, man. I'm glad that it's happening away. And unfortunately, and Fortunately, unfortunately, good that it's happening, but it's happening at the same time, a 10th anniversary of Moldovan festival, Mertesor. We've been doing that festival for 10 years, 11, uh, because of uh, uh, our friend, my dad's friend, uh, Vasily Moroshan, who's my dad, and uh, Jora Kulia, George Kulia, he's Ukrainian Moldovan. He basically produced the festival and my dad came up with the idea. So it came up together, something like this. Uh, the festival, it's 8,000 years old. It's celebrating the first days of spring, new beginning. That was before New Year's Eve. And the festival was celebrated from Greece to Middle East, Iraq. Um, that's an old celebration. And somehow in Moldova it is, there's a whole, um, there's a whole legend about it, about uh, white and red flowers, Mertesor, you wear the 1st of March. And you have to keep them to everybody and you wear them until the end of March, <laughs> basically. Um, I'll talk about it next time, I promise you, about the Mertesor, I'll reveal more information. Now, acting, I just moved in new apartment. Feelings are mixed. Uh, trying to be good with myself and everybody and not to take in too much negativity. I easily take it from people I love and I care and I didn't learn, I guess, to not take it personally, but it is at some point, you know, so many things happen to me, I guess, I think because I don't have boundaries, I think, I don't put boundaries, I think, and I don't speak, nor I don't speak about them, nor I don't speak about most of the things that bothered me, and somehow I, uh, uh, all my life trying to learn to cope and take any person the way it is, but the nature of a human being comes out, even if I work on this certain new things about, that touches my ego, that I can't control of, not taking personal anything people say, psychologically, it's like this, whatever we say to others, it's what we say to ourselves. I, I might say, that I kind of believe in that. So maybe I should be more honest. Well, at least honest and, you know, and I know I'm a lot honest. Of honesty, I will always work about it. I mean in what I don't like. And address it, I don't know. And tell people about my boundaries. Everything reveals to acting, you see. Anyway, I'm late. I did the video. It's my, whatever, 19th video, I think. Uh, wow. <sighs> be kind, guys, even if you don't talk about it. Be kind to yourself and to the others. 
give space and time to the others. I think I sometimes don't give that, especially when I know how to help the person, my need of helping, which Hedy had it a hundred times more than me, for sure. <laughs> In 47 years, how many souls she saved and helped. My nature of helping, I think, in the moments when I know the answer and how to help the person, I think I might be too intrusive to tell them what to do. And for us human beings, it's hard to take that and do it. Even for me, how many times people told me to do it consistently, certain things. And for some reason, I had an idea about art. It's like, oh, I was all life, I tried to be consistent. I want to be an artist now. I want to like create and don't know, don't give a flying f duck what to, what's going to happen to me. But there's consequences to that, families and loved ones. And even if somehow you help them spiritually, psychologically, and the other way you really can't or just be there whenever. Sometimes people need different things. It's not the same thing. Again, too much philosophy. I don't know, man. And this, I'm going to work on the scripting more of the video to be more clear. I have to learn to choose me and tell people when I'm busy. I'm not telling them and I try to work around to finish my job and then help them and never tell them that and, and how can I blame them sometimes I can't at least thanks God I realize that I can't if I can't realize that guys well, well why am I talking a lot about that thing yes overthinking is a pain in the ass hence overthinking is the way of analyzing being an actor and do a lot of things so at some point Overthinking becomes a habit and you cope with that to not overthink, not drown yourself, um, drain yourself, it, you know, your energy with overthinking. You have to pass through that. And that overthinking is analyzing yourself in life. Helps you understand more as an actor, as a director, as a writer, as a painter. I mean, guys, any art. I know I, I want to focus mostly on acting. It's, it's the, you know, it's one of the, it's like the final expression of art, the moving picture, human being, life. And in the end, life itself is the whole theater. That's quite deep for me. So analyzing myself and talking about it, at some point becomes um, an internal subconscious habit that helps work forward and not talk about it too much. About it. So, like at some point you learn to drive the car, you don't think about it. Sometimes you, uh, you arrive home and don't remember how you got it. Got home, you're thinking about something else, That's a bicycle, other stuff, you know, work, any kind of work, at some point becomes a habit. Gosh, I mean, like, walking when we're little kids. We learn to walk. At some point, becomes a habit. We don't think how to walk anymore. We thought back then, we tried, we fell down, we walked, we fell down, we tried to run, then we tried to jump, then we tried to jump out of the bed. That's important. Those little things are not little. Those little things are big. Because if you can through sensory, which is a lot has to do with method. 
with sensory you can recreate that moment when you tried to walk we did that exercise with Haley Sontag Lee Strasberg would do it gosh this man left such a great legacy and what Paul is doing there he's really making it stronger that legacy to continue it's man <laughs> That's power, powerful. I'm very proud of him. He really went much further than me in that, you know. I was thinking that at some point I asked, why am I not jealous of that? And I, surely I am. Like, but there's such a kind jealousy that I have towards him. I was like, that's interesting. That's interesting. Like, it's his way. He's more like this, you know. I have other way of certain other things doing. So that was like, okay, we're kind of the same, but different. Anyhow, anyway, method acting another video, another day. Consistency, not perfection. Now it becomes a little lovely to do it. <laughs> and more freely to talk about my feelings. I don't know how far can I go. Did I go too far? I'm okay with that because at the moment I'm in a transitional mode, so I really don't know about myself now. Like there's, every day there's a different me, 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 but different me in a way. There's something about every day, it's a different me, nothing is the same. So back in the days I thought if I would talk honestly, people would think that I'm like this. And then tomorrow if I talk about something like this, and they're gonna know me, that's private. And nowadays I think, no. I mean, whatever I'm going to say, people are going to have something about me. Like, I'm going to have something about people. And they are they're entitled to do it. It's their, their problem. It's not mine. I can learn to have that. It's their problem, not mine. And it's it's a quite, quite an interesting exercise as well. And... Um, I remember, I don't remember who said it, where I read it, but there was a thing that I liked about, I, um, I don't remember who said it, it was a woman or a man or somebody I know or I love, that I am on, maybe I did it, I don't know, maybe I I, I said it, it was like, like I don't, I like to have, anyway, so this is, this is the phrase. I like to have to say honestly every day to whomever I speak to interact. And honestly, I mean, not inventing nothing, not trying to skip things, unless there's too private or I think I shouldn't say it, I would rather not say it at all. And if I do, I, I, at least I'll say something something about it, something honestly, as much as I can, so I don't have to invent tomorrow nothing. And sometimes I really say it honestly, I say the whole phrase. And gosh, not everybody can handle it. I mean, I have these moments when I can't handle stuff, so. And I have to go. go I have to keep going keep pushing now I'm going to do a relaxation and sensory I like these times how I go there I don't go like to do it 
oh, let me do the best relaxation sensory. Oh, I'm going to do it and it's going to be great. No, all I want to do is go and try to relax. Go relax, come there with whatever I have inside. And after the relaxation, I'll do sensory. Maybe I'll do a hot bath. Like sitting in a hot tube. Or maybe cooking. I like doing cooking and relaxation. And for a couple of days, I'm thinking that doing like this, the video on YouTube as an exercise, like any kind of video, consistency, not perfection towards the podcast. Um, I'm, sometimes I'm afraid that it's like too much about me, too much about talking, honestly, too much about like, and sometimes I think no, sometimes I think from the other side, not sometimes, at the same time, if I can reflect on that situation a moment, I think that it's okay because it kind of also leads me to, in a moment of podcast, to be honest with, and uh, I'm going to talk to other people. Even if I don't agree with them or they don't agree, it's to be honest with myself and with them and have have a relationship, a communication there to a degree that it's okay if we don't agree with certain things. So I could say my statement and the person can say his or hers statement. And I think it's, that's what's great that the audience can choose at the same time. Of course, I'm gonna defend my truth, like anybody, uh, any human. And hence, I, uh, I'll, I'll work on not politicizing it, but um, use practice, personal experience, quotes, psychology, psychological studies towards responses as whether it's uh, studies of human beings, of types of characters, or I don't know, astrology, <laughs> astrology, the energy, quantum physics, laws of nature, laws of the world, of cosmos, God, love statistics mm. yeah I'm gonna go call myself an Uber